A group of COVID long haulers are asking Utah lawmakers for funding to go toward research on treatments. Four million dollars to be exact here. New special's Ashley Moser join us live from the Capitol to break things down. Ashley. Well, guys, lawmakers have a range of symptoms that continue to impact their lives months after even having COVID. So a lot of them are using their stories right here on the Hill to ask lawmakers for funding for things like research into new treatments. Got it. For the last week and a half, Lisa O'Brien and Holly Olson have been doing daily 90 minute oxygen treatments. Monday even, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I feel incredible. I feel like a totally different person. Lisa has had COVID two times. The symptoms for each case were unbearable. Every time I would stand up, my heart rate would hit like 160. I got blood clots. I cycled through over 50 different symptoms. She was diagnosed with POTS and in search of effective treatments, came across these hyperbaric chambers, but insurance doesn't cover it. It's really expensive out of pocket. It takes a lot of people to get this figured out. Holly Olson hoping to change that after experiencing her own long COVID symptoms. She's using her story on the Hill to ask lawmakers for funding. For, for research to help those that are not insured um, and really just get people better because that's only what we want. The request for $4 million would help the U of U Health's comprehensive COVID clinic. We've seen 1,800 patients since July of 2021. Dr. Jeanette Brown says the referrals continue to stream in, something funding would help with. Rural communities, underserved communities that may not have a lot of awareness about long COVID. And then um, a small portion would be for research. Funding that would also help doctors better understand treatments like this, something Dr. Brown hopes lawmakers will back. Partner with the state and you know, help as many Utahns as we can you know, get back to work, get back to going to church, get back to, you know, participating in their community. Now, the Higher Education Appropriations Subcommittee later this session will make a decision on that request for funding. Dr. Brown says the budget will be spent over about three to four years. Back to you. Like your interview.